What's good, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. Now look, this is like really seriously, like a, uh, I'll just say a real requested video. Everybody been asking me, you know, about this sandwich. I said I'd put, you know, show everybody how to make it. When I show you, you're gonna be like, man, I don't even know if that was even worthy of a video. Hey, wait, I don't wanna over talk it. I just wanna show you, listen, I'm using deli meat from my local grocery store, super easy. I'm gonna be doing it outside on my griddle. You guys can be doing it in a cast iron, you know, skillet. And hey, when I tell you easy, I mean easy. Up, oh, I feel like I'm over talking, so let's get it. Okay, so you guys can see right now, it's not a whole lot of ingredients, right? I'm gonna go ahead and just start by showing this bread right here. Look, I go ahead and get my loaves of bread, see how it's solid? I'm gonna go ahead and cut it myself. This is garlic cheese bread right here. Hey, listen, that way we can cut our custom slices, you know, put them on this griddle and get them grilled up real nice. Now, we got some pickles. These are just regular dill pickles. I like these, look at these slices right here. Oh uh, yeah, right? Then we gotta have mustard, cause listen, you heard me say, we gonna be doing a pastrami, right? So if we doing pastrami, you know you gotta have mustard and pickles. Okay, and then right here, look, got shredded cheese. Look, this is from block cheese, you know, pre-shredded by myself. I told you guys, anytime you guys get a chance to uh, use your own cheese, you know, shred your own cheese, do it. This right here melts way better. And then right here, you know, we got to have a little grilled onion, right? So I got myself, you know, some uh, diced onions. And then, you know, for here, I'm out here in California, you guys, you know what I mean? So I ain't got that Dukes. But you know what? I'm going to tell you, this is just as good as Dukes right here, right? And then, here's where it gets really, really nice, right? I just went to my local... Uh, my local grocery store, went to the uh, meat de uh, deli department and just asked them, you know, I was looking at the meat, right? I like this right here. Look, this is that, listen, this is that Cajun turkey breast. You know, listen, you get it sliced super thin and then I'm gonna show you how we gonna work the magic on this griddle. And then right here, I got pastrami meat. Real simple, you guys. You guys can go and get it from your deli, however you want to do it. This is just one pound each. Uh, just, I'm gonna be real with you. Whichever one you go with, get yourself two pounds. Cause once you make one of these, I promise you everybody else is gonna ask you, hey, make me one too. All right, so let's get it. Now, grilling your onions, listen, that's what takes the flavor profile over the top. You know, you gotta grill your onions, right? And then when you're grilling your onions, I always add, you know, just a little bit of cooking oil to them, get them flat, and I add a little water as they start to dry out, as they start to grill. Okay, so look, now uh, let's go ahead and cut us some slices, right? I'm gonna go ahead and get this end out the way right now. So all you wanna do is just go ahead and cut it straight down. And I mean, we'll just leave it like that. And now you cut them as thick as you would like them. I like them a little bit more on the thick side because they gotta stand up. You know what I mean? Me putting that mayo, mayo on there, you know? And then when you grill it, then once you pack it with your cheese and the meat, you know what I mean? Uh, it could get a little tricky. So when you got thicker slices like that right there, look at that. This comes out perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut myself. And I'm using a serrated knife, a bread knife. It makes your knife much, much easier. So that's two, that'll give me two sandwiches, right? So I'll set this off to the side like that. I'm gonna use these. We're gonna go back, check on these uh, onions, and then we go from there. Okay, so you guys can see, check it out. My onions, they getting away. Ah, yeah, these is right. These are right right here. So let me just go ahead. I'm gonna move these over here to this side. Now, I should have said this earlier, just so you guys know, when you're using a griddle, you wanna set it up in zones, right? Meaning, this is my cool zone. It's still on heat. It's still fire underneath here, but what it is, is it's on low, right? So I can set things over here. It'll stay warm until I'm ready to use it, right? So I just set that here. Then this side over here is hot. You know what I mean? This is where we're gonna do all of the work on the meat and getting our, uh, we're gonna do our meat and we're gonna get our, you know, everything toasted, like our bread. So, let's go ahead, take this. Now, let me just show you this real fast. You can see right here, look, I pulled it out of the package right now. You wanna talk about thin? I hope you guys can see this. I wanna hold one of these up right here. I mean, this is like super thin. You can almost see through it. You know what I mean? Look at this, this that good pastrami. So, I'm just gonna go ahead, take something like this, put down a little oil, Turn down my fire just a little bit, and I'm gonna go ahead and just drop that on there. And then when you drop this on here like this, check this out. I like a lot of pastrami on my sandwich. I don't know about y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there. 
we getting close to about a half a pound, you know? But we put this on here like that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just move that over here like this. Add a little bit more oil here, right? And now we're gonna come with this Cajun turkey. Check it out. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take this right here and I just start chopping it up. Add a little bit more oil to it. Now when it comes to the chopping, this part really is up to you. It depends on how fine or how thin or how chopped you want your, uh, you know, your meat to be. For me, I like it the way you see it, real small. Now, it doesn't take long to cook, right? You don't want to cook it where it's super dry. So what I'm gonna do is, we finna move this, like this, over here. We just want to keep it warm, right? Just like you see here. Now remember, we're just keeping it on our warm side, right? We just wanna keep it warm and hot enough just so that when we add our cheese, it melts. If you guys watch when I did my other videos, like that Travis Scott burger, take a look at this right here. This right here is what sends it over the top. We're not using butter, nothing like that. For you guys that don't know, that's right, this is mayo, right? We just put a little mayo on here, just like you see. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on here. Don't knock this until you try it. Now there are so many things that's making this sandwich just like over the top, you know, all the way down to putting the mayo and grilling it on the bread to the meat and the grilled onions. Okay, so you guys can see, got my four slices down, right? Let's take a peek at that. Look at that, it's toasting good. You look at that, it looked like butter, but you guys know, you just saw me do that. That was with uh, mayo. Oh yeah, this is working. We'll leave that alone. Now we are gonna bring the cheese into the game. Check this out. We're just gonna put a little cheese right here on the top. I don't know about y'all, but I like cheese. You know, we're just gonna leave this on top here and let it do its thing. It's gonna melt on its own. I can put a dome on it. I have a dome right here off camera. You guys just can't see it right now. That would melt already on its own, but we gonna let it just take its time, let it melt just like you see that. Okay, so my bread is ready on the other side. I just take a little bit. I don't put no whole lot on here. And then what I do is I just flip them over, just like you see there. Just like this here. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is, let's go ahead and take this, bring this here. Let's just go ahead and get us some of this with the cheese all on it. Go ahead and get it just like you see here. Right? These right here make for some fire uh, sandwiches, folks. Now we gotta put a little Grilled onion on the top. I got it. It's all over the place. I ain't doing no neat job or whatever. But I promise you, you know you guys wish you had one of these, right? But we ain't done yet. I'm gonna get me a little mayo. I'm gonna go, I mean, excuse me, get me a little mustard. Put a little mustard on there. Get me some pickles. Right, we're gonna take this, we're gonna put this right here over the top like that, and we're gonna set this over here on the side. Now we're gonna do the same thing with this one here. Now you can see, look, here we go with the pastrami. Look, this was the killer one right here. Hey, you know what, I don't even wanna say that, both of them are killer, you know, but check it out. You can add that pastrami, you see how it was like together, held together with that cheese, and then for me, I like to add a little bit more cheese to it. Then of course you gotta put those pickles, and after pickles, right, you gotta hit it with that mustard. Now you can put the mustard on here, you can put it on your bread, however you wanna do it. And then I almost forgot, we got grilled onions. Look at that right there. If that ain't food porn at its finest, I don't know what is. Okay, so now you guys can see, take a look at this right here. If that don't say a good sandwich right there, I don't know what does. Hey, I'm not trying to brag. Yeah, of course you guys can see those uh, those pickles, but you gotta have those pickles on there too. Hey, but there it is again. Hey, I don't wanna keep saying hey. I don't wanna over talk it and all of that. Hey, let's go ahead and take a bite. Okay, so look, let me just go ahead and cut this in half right here. Oh man. I'm 
gonna go ahead. Hey, you know what? I ain't gonna cheat y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and do me. I'm gonna take a little bit of this right here and I'm finna eat it. All right, here we go. Oh, man. Nothing like that. That cheese to have that little crunch on it. Mm hmm. Now, I want you guys to tell me how many of y'all finna run out there to your deli and go get yourself some meat. All right, y'all. Cheers. I ain't gonna lie, it's still hot. Man. Oh, man. Y'all see me eat and do my thing? Let me wipe my mouth. I feel like I'm way out right now. I feel like my lips are shiny, side of my mouth is shiny. Let me get cleaned up and I'll talk to you. Hey, I can tell you this, this is about to be real quick right it was almost a shame that i even made this video to show you guys just how easy it is to make but listen my channel is all about showing you guys you know other options so that you don't have to keep making the same old same old after doing that for a year you're already tired of it and then if you do it for two or three years you know what i mean the same old thing every thursday we having you know spaghetti or on a saturday we doing ribs hey we can mix it up and that's what this channel is about hey listen you guys got to try this super easy get the meat of your choice but i suggest you get the pastrami now you just saw me cut the cajun turkey right I'm saving that pastrami for me. You know what I mean? Uh, they're gonna have to like fight over this. But that right there, I can tell you that's fire too. Listen, try it. Let me know what it tastes like down in the, uh, what you guys think about it down in the comment section below. And with that being said, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and tell everybody out here, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. Hey, I'm laughing because when I said simplify these recipes, this right here, it don't get no simpler than that. With that being said, you guys, I'm out of here. Peace.